empty streets and closed shops, just a couple of kilometers from the Gaza border. Stirot has become a ghost town. Out of over 30,000 inhabitants, fewer than 10% remain, braving regular rocket fire over a week after Hamas militants invaded the town. I have pepper spray. And this. That's what I have to defend myself. But if they've got guns, it's not going to help much. Edouard takes us to see his home, showing us the scars left from rocket shrapnel. He's lived here for over 20 years and remains now to look after his infirm 80-year-old father. He sent his wife and children north to safety as soon as the fighting began. When the rockets started falling, I told my kids, hurry, hurry up, quick, quick, get out of Sterot. I put everyone in the car so they could get out of town. I've left everything as it was when they went. Throughout Sterot, the scars of last week's attack remain. Bloody reminders of the violence Israel has suffered, along with its survivors. Human or otherwise. These volunteers have come to get her. They killed her master. They were together in the car. The dog hasn't come out in four or five days. She's been living here. She wasn't ready to leave. Volunteers like these ones are determined to give aid in Sterot however they can. They'll be returning to the town over the next few days to help other residents who've otherwise been unable to leave.